We found blades made out of uh, meteoric iron that were exceptionally large. Usually with the late dorset we find little tiny blades made out of, of meteoric iron. What they would do is cold hammer it into shape and there's a source of meteoric iron to the south of where we are in Greenland. So that was actually quite a surprise. The late dorset are really known for their um, eccentric art, let's say. And they made lots of little tiny carvings and they're found throughout the Arctic. They're quite anatomically correct often, like they would make things such as seals and swans, uh, polar bears. My colleague Hans found four carvings. Uh, he found what was a sculpin and three polar bears. One was a harpoon bear, so it was a, harpoon, a polar bear and a harpoon kind of combined into one. And then he had two transformed bears, they're kind of abstract. It, that was unexpected in itself to find a cache of artifacts such as that. The real surprise actually came uh, later on when Jenny was actually looking through the stuff that they excavated on Little Cornwallis Island and they found a cache of items there with the exact same combination of animals involved. It was a harpoon bear, two transforming bears, and a sculpin. And these sites are over 800 kilometers apart in the Arctic. That's just kind of one of those like wow moments, what's going on here? So we're still exploring that sort of thing, but that was a really big surprise.